Good morning folks, it is November 16th, Monday, and I just wanted to do a quick little video about my new caterpillar tunnel in my backyard. And uh, I'll just explain what this is. It's not totally done, but right now it's functioning because my main function right now is to keep the winter precipitation off my beds. All the crops that are in here are cold hardy, but I want to keep the rain off so that my soil doesn't freeze when we get a real cold snap. Now we've already had a little bit of a cold snap. You remember when I did a farm vlog was that uh, it was before Halloween or maybe that was on Halloween. We got that freak snowstorm and um, that actually worked out very well. I mentioned that in a previous farm vlog but uh, that snow came before we had the other three uh, greenhouse plastics up on our high tunnels came snowed on everything covered everything with a foot of snow and then we got minus nine uh, minus seven and minus nine celsius the next two nights and that was a godsend because that insulated everything because our ground temperature was still warm and the same happened here actually I, I got this up after all this stuff got snowed on so what have i got in here well i've got some beets i've got some fall carrots i've got some kale i've got actually more kale there as well uh, this was basil that I pulled out more carrots my peppers came out my beans and what else did I have this was another crop of carrots that came that was cropped out I've got some Swiss chard I've got some broccolini there that I got to clean up because it's all pretty much done and I'm still eating some carrots here and uh, that's kind of what's going on in this greenhouse right now but I wanted to show you guys what I've done with this greenhouse real quick since I'm here at the back what I did for my other end wall here, I'll talk about the main one in a second, but the other end wall here is the one that I don't really come in. And so all I did was channel lock a piece of plastic at the end. And uh, I'll, I'll just put some, some weights on, this, on the plastic down here to keep it from blowing. But it doesn't blow around much because I got this huge fence just six feet away from it. But uh, all I did was just put a little slit down the middle and you don't want to do it all the way to the ground. That way it'll, it'll just flap around all the time. So that's just a way that if it gets windy, this isn't just going to get hammered by the wind all the time. So it, it kind of has a place to go. And, um, and if you need to get into it like that, you can. Uh, but it's not my main entrance. When I come into this greenhouse in the winter, it's all from this side. And so this tunnel, believe it or not is the exact same materials we used up at the farm and the creation of these tunnels from scratch was all documented at from the field tv a show where we got all of our materials how we bent them how we put these tunnels up all of this was documented at from the field tv and this is where i post 99 percent of my content now so if you want to check that out head over to from the field tv We've got our coupling pieces, right? Remember these? These coupling pieces come from those uh, portable garage tents that people use in the winter. You see them in cold cities like Pittsburgh and Montreal and uh, New York where people put these little, these little garages in their, uh, on their driveways for the winter and it keeps the snow off their vehicles. That's where, where those things are and you can find them in a lot of places. We got these locally. A lot of people have asked me where we got these. We got these from um, a steel supplier here in Kelowna. So unless you're in Kelowna, there's the, the, the uh, ordering it from, from them is pointless. But um, it was uh, Kelowna Steel or Kelowna Metal Supermarkets. That's where it came from. And um, the metal, the steel on the main bend are the exact same ones on our high tunnels at the farm. So it's the exact same bend. All I did was cut the piece short down here so that they would link up at a lower point in the middle and so these are it's six feet and eight inches right to the peak here and i've got 103 inches down on the inside at the base and all i've done with this with this tunnel is i've pounded in my ground posts every five feet just right into my ground here and then I cut pieces of channel lock and wiggle wire and put them in between and just screwed them right to my raised beds. And then I, that's where I put my wiggle, wiggle wire in 
and just uh, fasten the plastic down that way. In the summertime, I'll just take this whole thing off. I might, I maybe I'll leave the bows and just take the plastic off, but either way, it'll come down once we go into summer. But um, the, the beauty of this thing is that it allows me to keep the precipitation off my crops and that way my ground doesn't freeze. And so the fact that this is open right now doesn't really matter because even if it was closed, when the nighttime temp temperatures settle, this greenhouse isn't going to have any more warmth inside than outside, at least in the ambient air. The ground will be warmer because it's not subject to freezing because it's not getting the water on it, which strips out heat. So in a way it's warmer, um, but it also gets warmer during the day when the sun comes up, which it's cloudy right now. We don't have any sun, but this, all this stuff in here will act as a thermal mass. And so this greenhouse will stay warmer. There's no doubt, but the main thing is to keep the precipitation off. So that's what I've done there. And uh, like I said, it's not totally finished. I've been jury rigging this door kit that I got from, um, shout out to uh, Bootstrap Farmer actually sent me this door kit, which is a really, really cool product. And uh, I love what they've done. It works great for a typical high tunnel, but because I've done this weird, modified, really small greenhouse, I haven't been able to install it the same way that they would. Uh, on the high tunnel so I've had to mess around with it a bit which has been of a bit of a pain in the butt and uh, I haven't I keep getting pulled away so I haven't had time to finish this project yet but I thought I would just show it to you guys anyways because I just love the fact that I've got this little mini greenhouse in here and I kept it short specifically so that it doesn't cast too much shade onto my main uh pass a solar greenhouse and i did some measurements actually i thought about this last winter and at the solstice i came out here and i held a stick up at high noon to see where my shadow would land and and it lands around here so a little bit of shade gets in here but the vast major majority of that structure 